In this video we're gonna talk about the ankle mobility, strengthening, flexibility and exercises and drills we can use to increase it. Now why would we do so depends on our goals obviously but it can be done for example in some later stages of the physical therapy during some specific injuries like for example Achilles tendon rupture or it can be done just to strengthen and get the general strength that we need through everyday life so we don't spray or strain the ankle. The volume and how much you should be doing obviously depends on your goals but try to spend at least minimum 10 minutes on each session and the more you do the better obviously each day every day would be best but if you skip through a few days it doesn't matter especially if you incorporate it into your leg day in a gym let's say the drills are gonna be combined of two flexibility exercises and two strengthening exercises because we know for the mobility we need to have flexibility and strength this is why we first work on the flexibility so when we stretch the muscle or in this case it's gonna be more like a joint as a whole we're gonna cause something that is called a defense mechanism so the muscle wants to contract then we're gonna contract it strengthen it and then go back into flexing it and stretching it these drills are gonna be something different than what people usually do because when we talk about strengthening of the ankle, it's mostly frontal planes like calf raises or reverse calf raises. But in this case, we're gonna move through whole planes and through whole range of motion. In the drills, we have four exercises, two for the flexibility and two for the strengthening. So let's start with the one for the flexibility. First one we have, we're gonna go in a deep split squat. We are focusing on the front leg, so don't mind the back leg. Put it whichever way it's comfortable for you. And what we want to achieve is to get the knee over the toe, but keeping the heel on the ground. So we wanna sit on the leg, relax it, nice and easy, press it front, back, and a bit on the side. Always make sure that the heel is on the ground. This position, will help us in a deep split squat as well. So we want to stretch, mobilize. Okay, around 15 seconds on one side. We're gonna switch, go on the opposite. And again, don't mind the back leg, focus on the front, knee over toes, heel on the ground. Remember, if you cannot get the knee over toe, no worry, spend some time. This is why you're doing the exercise in the first place. Try to go as low as you can, a bit front and back, a bit of sideways, and again, 15, 20, 30 seconds, it doesn't matter. After we finish, we're gonna go up. Next one, we have the E version, so we're gonna go on the outside of the foot. From here, either we're gonna hold, then go inside, or if you wanna make it a bit harder, we go on the outside of the foot, we go cross and back. Nice and slow. Remember, to don't go too much. We don't want to strain the ankle from the outside. Okay? So you have to control the movement. Okay. We're gonna spend around 30 seconds. After we finish. We go in a strengthening. For the strengthening drills, first one we have is like an ankle dance. So we're gonna stand nice and close, go on the toes, heels out, on the heels, toes out, and back, heels, toes. Okay, we're gonna be slowly moving in front. So from the side, you can see nice and close, heels out, toes out. Remember, heel in, toe in, to go, the full range of motion, nice and slow. Heels, toes, heels in, toes in. Heels out, toes out, heels in, toes in. And again, after 30 seconds or so, we're gonna do the another one, which is side dance. So we're gonna step close, go on the toes, twist on the side, heels down, and then toes up, heels, and move. Go on the other side. So remember, you go nice and slow, 
through the whole range of motion. And again, around 30 seconds, we go down, one more round. So we go split squat, knee over toe, heel on the ground. Spend around 15 seconds. So how much in total you should be doing, obviously depends on your goals, but try to spend minimum of 10 to 15 minutes in each session when you're doing them. Okay, let's switch legs on each session. Each day would be best. But if you skip, it doesn't matter. The more you do, the better. But even something is better than nothing. So heel on the ground. Again, 15, 20 seconds. One leg at a time. Then we go up. It's an E version. So outside, not too much. We don't want to strain. Either up, in and out. Or out and cross. This is a more functional movement. So as you can see, we are moving through different planes of motion as well. When we go up and down or when we dance on the strengthening. And again, after 30 seconds, we go in the strengthening. So first one we do is in and out. So straight, heels out, toes out. Heels in, toes in. Remember that the mobility is the result of the flexibility and strength. This is why we work both on strengthening and mobilizing or stretching and flexibility. And again, after 30 seconds, we go in a side dance. So from straight, the toes, side nice and slow whole range of motion when we finish we go back in a split squat knee over toe and keep working again minimum 10 to 15 minutes the more the better you can also incorporate this if you have a leg day. So at the end, you can spend some time on the ankle. These are also good in the later stages of the physical therapy for some specific conditions of the ankle, like a rupture of a heel tendon or even shin splints. Or if you want to increase the depth of your squat, or if you want to work on general strength so you avoid injuries of the ankle. For example, I have a friend who is into skateboarding, so I recommend these for him as well. Okay. And again, out, in, or out, across. We're gonna do just one more time. So we finish the circuit. Easy. Side dance, close, heels out, hold. Thirty seconds, finish, and side dance. Toes, side, heels down, on the heels, toes down. Right, that's it. Thanks for watching.